Jiggle gang. Booty shit. We are what's up next. We're the best dog and test. Video games every day. Every game must be played. Series Saturday. Minecraft Monday. And, and more. more. <laughs> hey guys, it's the butt jiggle gang. Oops. <laughs> it's the butt. Hey guys, it's the butt jiggle gang. Going. <laughs> and today we're reacting to something we watch, and it's this really is funny. Really, the ode to State Farm really winning like five JD Power Awards in a row it's for called life meeting. insurance. Pitch a meeting. Where it's literally criticizing a movie, and it's like a pitch meeting in disguise. You wouldn't take a trash bag filled with coffee anywhere yeah. near it's your really white good, couch. Really funny. So we're gonna react but to we a, did it. And you know what happened? So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I know this is gonna be the first ever feature-length computer animated movie, so I made sure to keep the human characters to a minimum. Well, that's very nice of you, but honestly, it'd be even better if there were no humans at all. We are not good at rendering those right now. Well, the movie's about what toys do when humans leave, so there kinda have to be a couple of humans, you know? Okay, but just so you know, their faces are, you know, absolutely gonna be the stuff of nightmares. <laughs> just haunting stuff. Understood, <laughs> sir. So you said the movie's about toys? Yeah, so the whole thing's gonna be that toys are actually alive, and they have, like, secret lives going on when humans leave the room. Oh! And when humans come back into the room, they all rush back to their places and go stiff again. I have just so many questions. Uh-oh. Like, what happens if some somebody peeks through the window and sees the toys running around. I don't know. At what point of the toy know. making process do they become sentient? I don't know. If a toy's head breaks, does it die? And if a new replacement head is put on, is that an entirely new being? Oh, please stop asking me questions. I'm sorry, it's just you drop a bombshell like <laughs> toys come alive when you leave the room and I have a couple of questions. Yeah, well the whole thing falls apart if you think about it a little bit, so... You know, please don't do that. Fair enough, so what happens in the movie? Well, there's this kid Andy, and his favorite thing to play with is this little Woody. Ah. Oh. See, Woody is the name of a cowboy toy, and he's actually the main character of the movie. Oh, okay. And he's kind of the leader of Andy's toys, so they all look up to him. There's even a female toy, Bo Peep, who's like into him romantically. Toys can be romantically involved with each other? We're certainly gonna suggest that, yeah. I don't know much about the internet just yet, but I feel like people are gonna take that information and do some pretty weird stuff with it. Oh. I'm I'm gonna make sure to get my dial-up modem set up and check that out. Okay, you weirdo. So anyway, Andy's family is moving in like a week, so all the toys are getting ready for moving day. Okay. But then they realize that it's Andy's birthday party, so they all get scared that they're gonna get replaced by a cool new toy. Oh, interesting. And for the most part, they seem to be safe because all of Andy's friends are horrible at giving gifts. What do you mean? Well, they get him like bed sheets and a lunchbox. Okay, yeah, those are some pretty boring birthday gifts for a child. But then Andy's <laughs> gonna get this new toy called Buzz Lightyear. Oh, what's his deal? Well, what's really fun about him is that he doesn't know he's a toy. He thinks he's an actual space ranger. Oh, that's funny. I thought so too. He thinks he's on a mission or something. Hilarious. And so Andy gets obsessed with Buzz and he replaces Woody as the favorite toy. And what's Andy's reaction to seeing Buzz moving around and talking? What, what are you talking about? Well, you said that the toys hide the fact that they're alive when a human enters the room, but if Buzz doesn't think he's a toy, he wouldn't do that, right? Oh my God. Did you not realize that? No, I didn't realize that. Now this whole thing doesn't make sense. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> Whoa, it's okay. No, it's not okay. Buzz not thinking he's a toy is a major part of the movie, but then I have him freeze whenever humans show up. It doesn't make any sense. Look, it's fine. Maybe people won't notice. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh my God, no, it's fine. We'll move on. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. So what else happens? Well, like I said, now Andy is obsessed with Buzz Lightyear, so his mom completely redecorates his room. We're talking Buzz Lightyear blankets and posters. That's just creepy. Imagine waking up with like a Buzz Lightyear, like pointing at you in the morning. <laughs> That's really creepy. And then like a go in the dark Buzz Lightyear thing. You just wake up in the middle of the night. Yeah. Buzz Lightyear just like looking at you. Yeah, that it's like a horror movie kind of. Aren't they moving? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they put that poster up for like a day? I guess so. Interesting choice. So then because Woody's jealous, he decides to knock Buzz behind a dresser. Okay. But then he accidentally knocks him out a window. Oh no. So all the other toys call Woody a murderer and they want to hang him to death. Oh my god. Yeah, they don't even give him time to explain. Immediate death sentence. That is so dark. Super dark. And then through some wacky circumstances, Buzz and Woody both end up in a claw machine at a pizza place. Oh, that does sound wacky. But then they end up getting taken home 
home by Andy's neighbor, Sid. And what's Sid's deal? Oh, well, he's super evil. He makes toys explode and he, like, crafts different parts of toys onto other toys. Pretty creative, actually. Yeah, super evil. Just a kid using his imagination. Anyway, so at Sid's house, Buzz is gonna see a TV commercial for himself and realize he's a toy. Oh, so what does he do? Well, he goes into this deep existential depression. Oh, existentialism is tight. Why are we even here? I don't know. Fair enough. Let me know if you figure it out. So then Sid decides he Why wants to use here? this huge rocket thing on Buzz and all the toys have to stop him. Wow, it's gonna be impossible for them to stop a human. Actually, super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, Woody just breaks all the rules and starts talking to him and then Sid's other toys start crawling towards him. That is horrifying. Yeah. That kid's gonna have some serious psychological damage. Well, serves him right for what he did to those toys. I mean, he didn't know they were alive. He was just having fun and now they probably ruined his life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toys are ruthless. Yeah. They are. So then Woody and Buzz race down the street to try to catch up with the moving truck. They race down a public street. Won't people see them? Most probably, but we're not gonna deal with that because I don't wanna. Well, okay then. So what do you think? Well, as the first computer animated feature, I think it's gonna be great. Yeah, we're basically paving the way for a whole new kind of animated feature. Yeah, and if this is how CG animated features are kicking off, I can't wait to see the kind of stuff they make in the future. Oh, things are gonna get good. <laughs> okay. That? That was pretty good. That was funny. Yeah, but this video was only six minutes. That's okay. I really don't care. Alright, Jiggle Gang, that was a great video. Really funny. Check out this dude named... I forgot his name. Alright, check out Screen Rant. No, uh, no, Screen Rant. That's what I said. Screen yeah, but... Rant. Yep. And uh, the guy who actually... I figured out the guy who actually uh, did, does this does that stuff is uh, named Ryan. Why is it capitalized? And he has some funny stuff too. Where is it? Ryan. No, no, Ryan. Toys Review. <laughs> um, hold up. It should be on the channel actually. Ryan. So. Uh you have a movie for me? No. Okay. Um, Frick. What was his name? I forgot his name. Please. Brian? Please don't write it. That's the top thing. No! What? What's, what's on my iPad with Ryan? Man, the channel sucks. Um. Yeah. Oh my god. Whatever. He'll be in. He'll be in the uh, thing. The picture right here, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, that's all for now, Jiggle Gang. I'll see you tomorrow with Sonic Dreams Collection. Dream. Yeah. Bye-bye.